to change the pace just a little bit now and sing a country western song made famous by John Denver, which I'd also like to, uh, to sing for my wife who's from West Virginia, Country Road. you then and now. 
your left foot here, here. Then put your right foot near this near. Sway right and left, no it for but Call it the barbershop spot. take just a little bit of an intermission, but in the meantime, I hope that we will be able to, you will be able to entertain yourselves by uh, using your gambling spirit, if you don't mind. We have a license to do this, and we're going to raffle off three pizzas, all for one buck. Now, we're going to raffle these off in units of 13, and each 13 that we sell, we will call a number. We have 10 of these on hand, and uh, that's the maximum that we'll bother you with. So there's going to be some guys amongst you selling three tickets for one dollar for three pieces. Health 
in coaching that I think we could ever run into, and it was really a benefit. Our only complaint is we haven't had a chance to rehearse what we learned, so we're getting the old stuff tonight. Uh, our next song is going to be, huh? No, Yes, yeah, it's called Send the Girls Over There for all of the um, equal rights people in the room. <laughs>
Johnny O'Connor had an automobile. He took his girlie for a ride one Sunday. He was all dressed up in his best suit of clothes, and she cuddled close to his side. Things were just fine until they got down the road. Then something happened to the old machinery. That engine got his coat off with his hat and coat. Everything needed repair. He had to get under. Get out and get under. Get out and fix his automobile. automobile. He was He's only trying to cuddle his queen. But every time, but every minute, when he, when he began it, he had to get under. Get out and get under. Get out and fix his little machine. A dozen times he started to hug and kiss, and then the darn old engine. It would miss and then he had to get under, get out and get under, and fix up his automobile. A dozen times he start to hug and kiss and then the darn old engine, it would miss. And then he had to get under, get out and get under, and fix up his automobile. Your true love may turn cold when your buggy gets old. So fix up your automobile, push it or get a dose, take it down to Otter's shot and make him a deal on a brand new automobile.
And Mr. Ken Keeney here, he's from Harmony, Minnesota, and uh, he pounds nails for a living. And I myself, what? Carpenter, Carpenter, that's it. My name is Burl, and I'm from, uh, originally from Duran, Wisconsin. Um, <laughs> what can I say? Um, and uh, I'm a diesel mechanic. Um, <laughs> our next song we're going to do is um, an old popular song that I don't know if any of you ever heard of the Mr. Sippies. It was a popular song sang by them called uh, Sam. Way, way, way down in Dixieland, I know a music man plays his accordion night and day. Won't play a melody, only plays harmony. That's why they all say he just plays chords to make you feel grand. They call him Sam. Oh, Sam, the old accordion man. Some man his dreamy chords. His dreamy old chords remind you of them. too often. Most of our schools are in Minnesota, but uh, we really enjoyed the, the day down here and we enjoyed uh, all the help we've gotten. So uh, we'd like to thank the faculty again for the wonderful school today. And um, where is Roger Thomas here yet? I oh, must have left this. I wanted to ask him, I know he's a good Norwegian, I wanted to ask him why Norwegians never go elephant hunting. It's because the decoys are too heavy. He must be Norwegian, isn't he? <laughs> That's a Minnesota joke. We've been trying to give it to Iowa, but they don't want it, so... Anyway, our last song I'd like to do for you is a uh, yeah, typical Minnesota joke. Uh, what were they going to do last? Darkness. Oh, yes. Darkness on the Delta. <coughs>
going to have to have these schools more often if we can get those kind of quartets down in Madison. That's fantastic. We're going to take about a 10 minute intermission now, and let me remind you again that there are raffle tickets on sale, three for a dollar. Catch any of the Madison people around here. Apparently, there are also pizzas on sale. Greg Humble knows about that, some of the other folks. So take about a 10 minute break. Notice how I put my fan club right down in front of me. This next group that you're about to hear is uh, no stranger to those of you who have come to Madison performances before. Uh, all four of them are experienced quartetters and heck of good guys, too. Welcome, please, the Close Quarters! <laughs> Thank you very much. A little commercial again, of course, but we still have about six or seven pizzas, th three stacks of pizzas left, and we're selling tickets three for a buck. And uh, so uh, help us out a little bit there. Also, another commercial. Uh, September the 16th of this year, we are all going to gather at the Milwaukee Brewers Ballpark for a grand singing. I understand we're going to be singing the national anthem and maybe we'll get a chance to sing some other songs as well. So kind of plan on that. That's September the 16th. September the 10th. Sorry about that. September the 10th. Well, thank you, Del. For, uh, and uh, the guy that, that is going to be heading this up is Rick Rollin. Rollin? Okay. He is 
uh, currently from Wisconsin Rapids, but he is going to be transferring to Madison very shortly. I understand that uh, he's getting married too, is that right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well strike two or three. But anyway, he, 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 will, he will be the guy that will do it, that will be spearheading this. So kind of plan on it. That is September the 10th. So we'd like to sing another song for you right now called My Little Marty. about 10,000 times that little German band.
that German band. Then leave us in the army, be all of Black Barrow States. Then we wasn't fighting, we was deceived, digging graves. Ooh, then we got some waffles in, you could look us outside on the rear, on the right, here comes a German band. <laughs> in the audience? Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Carl Burks. Oh, good. How about a Kenny Davidson? Yeah. Kenny Davidson, is he here? Oh, good. Wow. Is Elwood Davidson here? Yeah. Oh, that's fine. How about Carl Schluter? Yeah. Now, that's one half of what used to be the four more, and here are, for your pleasure, the rejuvenated Four more. Uh, stand straight up if you can. <laughs> Say, this is very nice to be here again. Uh, haven't been on a stage for quite some time now, and uh, it really is nice to look into barbershop faces again. I'm getting sick of looking at these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tom. Uh, we're dropping you from here. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's something else to, uh, to be on barbershop shows. Uh, for 25 years, uh, my brother and I were singing together with the old four more, and and uh, traveling all over the country. Uh, we never had a more enjoyable time in our lives, I don't believe. But, uh, and then, of course, we met these guys. That ruined everything. <laughs> well, we have been having a little fun with them, and we'd kind of like to share it with you and do something we call uh, Sweet Sixteen. 
I love you as I never loved before. Never loved before. Since first I met you on the Billy, on the Billy Green. Come to me here my dream of love is all. effects that he does. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a Van <laughs> <laughs> well, we, uh, we do have a little thing right now that, uh, that we spent a few hours on, and uh, mostly drinking at the bar or at Kyle's place, but uh, <laughs> a little thing we call uh, Susie. If you knew Susie, like I know Susie, oh, 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 what a gal. There's none so classy as this fair lassie. Oh, gee, and holy Moses, what a chassis. We went riding and she didn't walk. Back from Yonkers, I'm the one who had to walk. If you knew Susie, like I know Susie. Oh, what a gal. Oh, if you knew Susie, like I knew Susie. Oh, oh, and oh, what a gal. There's none so classy as this fair lassie. Oh, gee, and holy Moses, what a chassis she went riding and she didn't bark. And back from Yonkers, I'm the one who had to walk if you knew Susie, like I know Susie. Oh, what a gal. Oh, what a gal. Alright, 
I just asked Carl back here what he'd like to do, and we're going to do something else. <laughs> you know, really, you know, you don't really know uh, how much you do miss it. You, uh, you quit singing, and then you think, well, uh, you know, we can get along without it. And then you hear somebody sing, and my daughter and Elwood's two daughters started with a group, a couple, they called themselves the second generation. And then my daughter was figuring out getting married and everything else, and she had too many plans, so she dropped. And they have another very fine girl in that group. And it kind of, I went and listened to them one night, and I thought, God, i got to get back into this again and have a little more fun. And it has been fun, still with this group. And, and we're so happy that we can share it with you. And we'd like to do a little thing right now that we used to do with the old quartet, a little thing we call Pennies from Heaven. We don't know it, but uh, yeah, I hope this is the same guy we were working with. I want to sing that. Two, 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 they're going to sing a bell man. We, we just picked him up outside just before we got him. I think he's been doing a pretty good job, though. For... He's going to get better as we go along, I know that for sure. All right, we will do uh, Umbrella Man. Let it be a better, let it be a better, let it be a better, I 
don't mind rain, we'll mend your umbrella and go on our way. Singing to the mama mama to the lay, to the mama mama to the lay, and the umbrellas to fix today. To the mama mama, to the mama mama, to the lay, and the umbrellas, and the umbrellas to fix today. Take a jig, hey, hey, and let a Peter Patter, lay the Peter Patter, he looks like a rain. And let a Peter Patter, lay the Peter Patter, I don't mind rain. We'll mend your umbrella, we'll go on our way. Sing to the lava lava, to the lake, to the lava lava, to the lake, in the umbrellas, to fix today. Umbrella.
okay. We have plenty of refreshments all over the place. Yes, these guys, I think you're really going to enjoy them. From Manitowoc, Wisconsin, let's give a warm Madison welcome to the new Manitone. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Dave Dick, Bill and Lee would certainly like to extend to you a very big welcome from the town of Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Well, it is a village. No, it isn't. I guess it is a city. I'm sorry. No, there isn't a quartet that doesn't get up here that isn't a little nervous. And there's only two of us in the quartet to do all the talking, and the other two won't do any. It's Dave and I. So, uh... Um, that's right. We'd like to do a song for you now that uh, is a ballad type number, and it speaks about a young fellow that falls deeply in love with this girl, but he really finds that um, somewhere along the way something is going wrong. He's finding that his friends are passing him by, they're turning their shoulders, and he doesn't really know where to turn, you know, and there he sits all alone by himself thinking, I'm alone because I love you. friends that I knew. 
That happens. See, she... pleasure for us to be here. Julie did such a masterful job at emceeing tonight, I think it only fitting and proper that you know a little bit about how those sons came to be. Now, we've got the inside story on this, and I've got to tell it to you. I promised several people I would, and I promised several people I wouldn't, but uh, here we go anyway. It seems that Julie, years and years ago, had one of the first convertibles when he was courting Fran here in, in the Madison area, I believe it was. And one Sunday afternoon, he decided that this was the Sunday afternoon to teach Fran how to do the fox hunting routine. Fox hunting. So it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon, and they hop in the car and head out toward the, the countryside, and there is that beautiful glen over there across the field. Well, he parks the car on the side of the road, reaches around into the uh, trunk, pulls out the, the blanket and the radio and the six-pack, and, and they head across the field. Uh, suddenly, all of a sudden, he sees some flowers, and he gallantly stops and reaches over to pick some flowers, and suddenly looks up, and there's a great big bull standing right there in front of him. And uh, there's a farmer standing right next to the bull. Julie gets a little bit excited. He said, uh, so, uh, we're just picking a few flowers. Sorry, I hope that bull is safe. Farmer said he's a lot safer than you are, fellow. But then, you know, he's got <clears throat> one thing in mind. I mean, this is fox hunting afternoon. And consequently, they start further across the field, come to one of these fences, you know, that the uh, farmers used to have. I don't know if they still have them or not. But anyway, he's reaching up so that she can slip her leg through, and she got her skirt caught on one of those, those little, um, oh, you've been fox hunting too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that has nothing to do with this next song, believe me. But we thought we'd throw that in, and we thank you very much. Uh, we'd like to do another little number that we call Hush.
one morning death comes creeping in the room. Let me be ready, Lord, to dwell with thee evermore. There'll be a chariot to take me to the heavenly land. There'll be a chariot to take me to the heavenly land. There'll be a chariot to take me to the heavenly land. Let me be ready, Lord, I am in thy hand. Door. Hush, 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 the angel will be knocking at your door. Let me 